Hello, everybody, and welcome to this special edition of The Daily Devo. It's a special edition because today I want to just tell you guys thank you for Thanksgiving. I want to talk a little bit about Thanksgiving, and I want to make a few announcements about The Daily Devo moving forward. So as always, don't forget, you can contact me, connect with me, find resources, find other Daily Devos, sign up for our daily email, all that good stuff over at Pastor Pete. .org. Well, first off, let me say thank you. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for sharing these podcasts out there on Facebook and uh, just telling your friends and family about them. Thank you for subscribing to the Daily Devo email and clicking on those emails each and every day. And thank you for your positive feedback all year long about how these daily devos are impacting your life and making a difference in your walk and your journey with the Lord. I cannot thank you enough. I also want to thank our very small but very faithful and very loyal group of financial supporters. I don't mention them near enough because I hate asking for money. I don't want to come across as if I'm asking for money, Um, but we could not do this. And the things I'm fixing to talk about would not be possible without 13 people, uh, some of which give about $5 a month. A couple give substantially more, but we could not do it without them. And so I'm so grateful and so thankful for those who have partnered with us financially. It's a small number, but like I said, a faithful number, and we would not be able to do the things that we're doing uh, without their support. So thank you so much. If you want to learn more about how you can support us, look in the show notes down below. You can um, go over to my Patreon page and sign up there. That's probably the easiest and simple way. It's kind of a subscription-based deal where you can give as little as $5 a month. It'll be withdrawn right out of your account, and that helps support not only the Daily Devo, but other ministry stuff that's happening through uh, our ministry. So uh, you can check that out. Also, one of the announcements today, and this again is down in the show notes, moving forward, we have a mailing address. We now have a P.O. box. Some of our financial supporters have been sending their support into our church, which I appreciate, and it's not, it's not bad that you do that. But if you're one of those people, I want to encourage you to go ahead and start sending that support directly to the P.O. box that's down below. The reason is, is this ministry and the things associated with this ministry aren't directly tied to the church. And um, I, I just don't think it's fair to have Uh, our church financial people having to uh, process all of that and then cut me a check and back and forth. So it would just be better moving forward, if at all possible, if you could change your bank drafts or change your rhythm and your routine for those monthly donations to come to our P.O. Box. Again, that is down below. And if any of you would like to set up a new monthly draft from your bank account and make a donation, you can find that P.O. Box and where to mail it to down below as well. And again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for those of you who support this ministry. Now for a couple more announcements, and I'm going to try to keep this um, as as brief as I can. So you're not going to get all the details today, and I'll probably do a more in-depth report early next year on some of this. But um, moving forward at some point, and I'm not sure when this is going to start, but moving forward at some point for the Daily Devo, I'm no longer going to be doing Daily Devos on the weekend. I'm just going to do Monday through Friday. I'm not going to start that probably right away, but you can look for that moving forward. I probably will not be doing Daily Devos on holidays, major holidays as well. And the reason for that is sometimes I just need a break, not from doing a Devo, but uh, I do my daily devotions every single day, but but it's, it's just nice not to have to worry about getting it all put together seven days a week, number one. Number two, uh, I've noticed that the statistics on the weekend go down dramatically, about half. We have about half the number of listeners, which is substantial still, uh, with over 50,000 people a month listening. There's a substantial number of people listening on the weekends, but it's it's about half what listens on the, the weekday. And so that tells me that a lot of people um, that listen throughout the week don't listen on the weekend. 
and and you know there's obvious reasons for that and that's fine as well so if you are a weekend listener and you like getting them on Saturday and Sunday, you'll still be able to go back into the archive and you can click on any daily Devo you want on Saturday or Sunday um, to get your daily Devo. But I think moving forward at some point later this year, if not the very first of the next year, I'm only going to be putting out five daily Devos a week. And most holidays, I probably won't do one uh, as well. So that will be a change. Uh, for the Daily Devo, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, I've also had some people tell me that, you know, getting an email every single day, especially over the weekend when they don't check their email because they're not at work or whatever, they just kind of stack up and they end up having to to delete a bunch of emails. And so we're just going to try it. We'll try Monday through Friday for a while. Um, I'd love to have your feedback on that. I'd love to, to, to hear what you say. Um, but it, but it would be helpful for me instead of having to put seven of them out every week to be able to do five would give me a little space uh, and a little breathing room, if you will, from the pressure of just having to record it uh, and, and get it out. So uh, anyway, we're going to see how that goes and, and move forward. I also wanted to just let you know that the Daily Devo, the Lord just kind of laid this on my heart uh, about two days ago. The Daily Devo is being listened to all around the world. It really is incredible. Um, the, what the Lord put on my heart the other day was this, that, that the sun never sets on these little devotions because somewhere the sun is up and somebody is listening to the Daily Devo. 24 hours a day, somewhere on the planet, somebody is listening to these daily devos where the sun is up. Isn't that cool to think that the sun never sets on this little podcast that started as a 31 days of prayer thing about a year ago? Um, Super, super cool. And one of the coolest things, and this is where I can't go into a lot of detail, but you'll hear more details about this uh, in the coming months and certainly next year. One of the cool things is, is that the Daily Devo is able to get into places that, quite frankly, we can't get into. Closed countries, countries that are closed to Christianity, places where it is literally illegal to be believers. I hear from, from, from believers around the world in these places, in these countries, almost every single week talking about what an inspiration uh, these daily devos are. I have actually been doing Zoom trainings uh, with pastors in some of these countries. Uh, I say Zoom. We don't do it on Zoom. We're, we're using something much more secure than Zoom, um, but but been doing pastoral trainings. Um, some really cool stuff happening. Uh, I just wanted to, to say that as an encouragement and as a thank you again to our listeners, to our supporters, um, to those of you who pray for this daily Devo and for these devotions to mean something to people. Um, we could not do it without you. I want you to know that it is impacting lives. It is making a kingdom difference. And I wish I could tell you more. I really, really do. And I can't wait. There is going to come a time next spring when when I'm going to be able to share some really, really cool stuff um, with our church and, and with you uh, that, that has started through this ministry. And so um, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I hope you have an incredible Thanksgiving. I hope hope you can count your blessings. And uh, I hope that that uh, there's something in your life that you're just incredibly thankful for. For me, I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful for this opportunity to be with you every day. I'm thankful for the opportunity to partner together in the work of the gospel all around the world through the Daily Devo. So with that, I'm going to get off. Um, let me pray for you. And you guys just have an incredible Thanksgiving. Father, we love you. We thank you. You are in charge. You are large and in charge. And Father, we thank you not only for what you've done through this ministry, but what you're doing and will continue to do through our lives. So Lord, we just pray that you continue to guide us, help us to remember and recall and and even recant to other people, Lord, all of the incredible things that we are thankful for today. We have so much to be thankful for because you are good, you are holy, and you are awesome. So thank you, Lord, for being who you are and for allowing us to be a part of your story. We love you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 
I hope you have a good one. Don't forget, you can connect with me at pastorpete.org, and you can find those other things I mentioned down in the show notes, uh, down below in the description for the podcast if you want to find any of those links or the mailing address. God bless you. We'll see you again tomorrow for our regularly scheduled Daily Devo.